we're back. Okay, so welcome to another Trollcast. Tonight it's uh, another King of the Hearts game, uh, the second round now, with um, Elliot with his Twilight Kin playing Steve with his Rat Kin. Uh, we saw Steve in the first round. Uh, it's the same army, You're using the same armies, aren't you? Yes, because it's yeah. Yeah, it. yeah. 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 yes, of course. Yeah, it's not. It's not like Cult of the Arms. You don't change. You don't change them. So yes, they're using the same armies, but we will run through the armies again. And tonight, joining me on the commentary team below me, University Challenge style, is Janice, Nick, and Barry. Hello. <laughs> right. So quickly. Um, I'll put a bit of background on for the map. The maps are used, uh, the same map for everybody playing games in each round. So this is a different map from round one, but will be the same throughout all the round two games. Um, the guys have decided that they're going to go for height three hills, height six forests and impassable, um, flat rivers and fields. Um, we're... Looking at the hill in the middle is surrounded by water and we've assumed that that is a river that's running between the building and the pond. Which doesn't uh, make any metaphysical okay. sense if you think about it. Why? Where is the water <laughs> no. running to and from? Well, perhaps, it, perhaps it's, it's the magic. waste. <laughs> oh, the magic. It's yeah, magic. perhaps it's the waste from the pub. <laughs> <laughs> magic, yes. yes but where's... That's not... <laughs> it's not a river, it's piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to go it, wet in that. It, it seems like an accurate representation of Lancashire, really, doesn't it? it in. <laughs> I know that was meant to be an insult, but it does remind me of me local, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think if you're local at the minute, Barry. Sorry? <laughs> Well, this is my local at the minute. Yeah. 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 So anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on, um, we've, we've, we've brought up first it's, uh, Elliot's list. So Elliot, if you could um, just run us hey. through your army list, please. Yeah. So I've got a, a regiment of impalers, which is the, the token elves in the, the Twilight King list, um, with the, the stain stone and the scream shard, just to try and keep them in the fight. These guys are, are terrible. I've not enjoyed using them once yet, um, <laughs> but I'm stuck with them now for this tournament. I love them, um, Taylor. Shut up. They're not good. Well, they're, they're fine. There's a lot of points. The defense for they're not stealthy, so everyone shoots at them first. Yeah. <laughs> um, two gargoyle troops because ultimate chaff. Uh, two butcher hordes because they're absolutely excellent. They're sort of the main like you know nerve blocks of my army. Um, Two little horsemen regiments because these things are incredible. Um, one with sharpness, one with elite. Uh, a horde of fiends with Pathfinder. Um, what else have I got on the list? Let's go down. Uh, I've got a soul bane with Mesa Crushing and um, Scream Shard. Uh, and two Summoner Crones. One uh, on horseback with Boots Levitation or 18, uh, yeah, 18 inch move and Life Leech. Uh, and one that flies with Drain Life 9. Because why not? Ooh. Yep. Good. Nasty. Oh. Okay. It's not nasty. And it's fluffy. It's quite like it. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's got elves in it. It's got, elves. It's yeah. got one, one unit and three characters, is it, of elves? No, well, yeah, the, crone, yeah. the crones are elves. The soul yeah. are elves. Yeah. yeah. It's got 23 it's elves fluffy. in it. So think 23 about elves. Exactly. Of yeah. Okay. I, so I even Steve. the Mantic Models. But... Outstanding. Uh, so, Steve, on to you for uh, the Ratkin. If you'd run through your list for us, please. Okay, oh, I get to tell. Me, I get to tell oh, my own list. Um, I've got uh, so I've got regiment warriors. I've got two hordes of shock troops, both with plague pots. One's got caterpillar. One's got striding. So one's uh, got a pathfinder. Two regiments of hackpaws. Um, three regiments of nightmares. Um, next, yep. Yeah. And then keep, keep going. Yeah, the the Vermintide you haven't mentioned. <laughs> One, a regiment of Vermintide, little rats. I've got a, a brood mother. I've got a swarm choir who's mounted with the loot. I've got a, a brute enforcer with the... Oh, it's got Blade of Slashing. I didn't know. Um, and then I've got a, a Tangle and Mother Chrysler. 
Oh, look, I've written it on him as well. Uh, amazing. He never hits Fantastic. anything. No, it's fine. <laughs> never gets in. You're not going to get in in this game. I've put him in the wrong place. Anyway. Okay. Thank you very much. Right over to over to the actual battlefield. Um, so Elliot is playing from the top to the bottom. Steve, obviously, playing from the bottom to the top. So Elliot, if you could uh, take can, us can through. Check. We, are, we are playing control, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we're playing control. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I forgot to double check that. To the, I, to I haven't got through to that bit. But if you've seen any of the earlier pro podcasts that we or troll casts that we've done, um, everybody plays push when I describe it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, if you could uh, just run us through your deployment, please. Oh, and, yeah, and Matt, so Matt, I've... I mean, you've got night stalkers that are elves. Is that nice? Okay. These are elves. They are. <laughs> elves. They're all elves. Right. So yeah, obviously the the board is a bit of an issue for me because I've got you know melee far butchers and stuff that wants to blow through holds in one go and is not going to do it well hindered. Um, so I'm going to be slightly, slightly in the way is that terrain. Um, so on the far left, I've got Troop of Gargoyles, then Horde of Butchers, uh, the Impaler Regiment, just put it anywhere, it's crap and it's not going to do anything. So might as well just go where it's not taking up space. <laughs> um, Gargoyle Troop, uh, and then a, another Horde of Butchers, and then I think it's my Elite Horseman yeah. in the middle of the board. Yes. Uh, with the Flying Crone behind them. Uh, the Pathfinder Fiends, the only things that might actually be able to do something there, uh, with the um, Brutal Levitation Crone next to them. And then on the far right, I've got the Brewer Sharpness um, Horsemen, who are invincible and will never die, uh, <laughs> with the Soul Burn next to them. Excellent. I'm Thank hoping you. to beat my um, record and damage on them this game. <laughs> I, I managed, I managed 42 against John. For... Well, I managed 42 <laughs> damage against John, so... If it's looking dire, I'm just going to reverse them into something. Yeah, seems and see fair. how much damage you can put on. Seems fair. Seems fair. Okay, Steve, if you could uh, run through your deployment for me, please. Yeah, so Elliot, Elliot chose size and deployed first, right? So I put on this. So in the middle, I've got the two hordes. The one on the left has got the J boots, one on the right's Caterpillar. So Mother Cries is in the middle. It's the little vermin tied behind them, and then the Tangle and the other and the Broodmother, right? So that all went down first. And then I fully expected. So then we started deploying on the right. Um, so I've got my hack paws. One's, one's on one side of the wood, one's on the other side of the wood. Uh, the warriors are in the middle because they're about as good as impalers. Slightly better than impalers, actually. I would um, say that. <laughs> and then there's the, the, the swarm crier and the brute enforcer. And I stopped paying attention to what Elliot was dropping at the end. I just fully expected it to put those other... <laughs> those... <laughs> I just looked up and I didn't even bother looking at the top and carried on. I thought the elite horsemen were going to be next to the sharpness horsemen, so I put all three regiments of, <laughs> of nightmares on the right. And, and then to, I looked up and went, I was thinking, oh, I've made this a bit too obvious by leaving a night sized gap in my lines. <laughs> I, just, just, I, wasn't, I wasn't really concentrating, if I'm honest. So I've really quite heavily weighted the right hand side against a single unit of horsemen and a character. <laughs> I've got, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units against those two. God. So uh, feeling, <laughs> feeling quite strong about that side. But uh, the middle, a bit less so. Um, to be honest, I, I, I rate my horsemen's chances. <laughs> they can destroy anything right. there to be fair and survive right. anything so yeah as, as was mentioned before that the the scenario is control that's where you divide the uh, battlefield up at the end of the game into six equal sections each one's worth one point apart from your se your center section which is worth two points to your opponent so um Steve, having nothing over on his left flank, might be a bit slight of a disadvantage straight off, but we'll see. We'll see. He might pull it round. Okay. Um, <laughs> so if you two guys want to um, pop off and start your game going, you pop we'll, uh, we'll stay uh, here and talk uh, about you. <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye. See you, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, so, what the hell was Steve thinking? Uh, <laughs> no idea. A <laughs> I think what he was thinking. Was, Can I reach my drink from here? I think that's about as far as his thought process went. 
<laughs> well, hmm. at least on that side, the right hand side. The left hand hmm. side's completely barren. Is nothing. Yeah, Elliot's basically got two victory points there with, right. without doing anything. Yeah. Um, mm. For me, the the deciding well, obviously the deciding point is going to be this right hand flank, but it's going to be it's going to come down to um, how quickly Steve can eliminate the threat um, before pushing left. However, I think that Elliot knows how to play a cagey game, and I think he'll be able to keep Steve tied up on that flank long enough. Um, that Steve's just not going to be able to, to um, get out of there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if, if Steve if Steve wants, though, he could, I suppose, spend a couple of turns getting maybe something like the hack paws that are sitting by the wood here, the turn and, and double down the, the battlefield, swing across the back of his battle line and sort of put up a token bit of resistance at the end there. Yeah, but that's that's only going to be the, a token is the problem. Yeah, but it, it might hold them up for long enough or contest something for long enough for him to uh, mm. be able to, you know, win something in the centre with the support of his right flank. The thing that makes me not so sure about that is that he kind of needs both those units there mm. um, on the right-hand flank in order to take care of the, the horseman cav. So Steve's taking yeah. the first turn. He's gonna he's gonna start pushing up. Um, the yeah. problem is if he's just got one uh, fast unit there, yes, he can outpace the horseman, but he can't break the horseman in one hit, and he can't stand up to the to a single hit from the horseman either. So he's no. not gonna get a favourable trade. Hmm. Well, we shall have to see if Steve. I mean, Steve acknowledged that he didn't eat. He deployed yeah. badly, so it, it depends on what he's what he's now going to do to uh, rectify it, or whether he's he's just going to carry on and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. We'll see how see how it pans out. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a that's interesting moment, really. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <Yeah. laughs> that's what I was. Whatever we look yeah. at, he's put himself up against it, hasn't he? There you go. Definitely, that's interesting. But um, I mean, I know we 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 talked about it before, but the, the terrain is going to play a big part in oh, this yeah. game as well, isn't it? I mean, just look at, look at that for across the centre. I mean, that that it's just moved and moved sixteen. Can you just double check for me? He's not just pivoted that corner in. What's that? The the hack pause. Is it the yeah the one he's got the cursor on there yeah oh it, it's close let's have a look well he measured but he didn't measure to the corner and then he pivoted yeah it. <laughs> oh that's right on the line that right on the line let's have a look from back oh I don't know can I see green between them two. Well, I can't, but my eyesight's not that brilliant, so <laughs> we'll let we'll let them we'll let them sort that one out. Yeah, uh, we've all been there. Oh, honestly, no. practically live there. But well spotted because that I mean that's my that's my favourite trick is yeah, well, to measure everything and then it. go <laughs> go back and pivot and just oh tidy that up a little bit and then when the opponent charges, I'm like oh. It depends on whether he's the, they've agreed between themselves. If Steve's moved it up and said that's just out or whatever. Mm. Well, they, they uh, might have done, but <laughs> it, it is those magical pivots that everybody seems to do at the last minute. And I must admit, as soon as he did it, it's like, no, no, he didn't just mm. do that. Not on turn one. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, I, I, I don't think Elliot would even take that charge. Hmm. No, it is because a bit. It, it's a bit. Leave it. Leave him in a very poor position with the, all those nightmares yeah. and the warriors. Just keep backing off for a couple more turns, and you can easily keep those forces tied up for a good four turns before um, you even start combats. 
and at that point, it's whether um, Steve's got enough time to finish everything off. Yeah, especially with that house in the in the centre there, because it'll sort of yeah. mask off what Steve's moving up from the right yeah. from exactly. his centre as well. Whereas Elliot's got uh, he's got a wood which blocks line of sight, but he, he's got the fiends with Pathfinder there uh, just next to the wood that could easily go either way, centre or onto onto the left there. Uh, yep. Onto the right as you're looking at it. I must admit, this centre is quite interesting when you're playing Dominate. That's it's interesting. Control. control. <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's just a Bob trick. <laughs> I mean, I know when we, we had Matt on um, the last cast and he was saying, wait till you see the, the map for the second, the, the second um, <laughs> round. And the only thing I can say to, to that is <laughs> yeah. that, you know, <laughs> what, yeah, uh, what oh, was no. he thinking of? <laughs> it's interesting. It sets, a, it sets a, a series of problems. It'd be interesting to see how other games pan out as well, especially if people aren't taking a lot of um, Pathfinder or something like that. I, I just find it's very quirky shape in the middle, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? It's, See, uh, as expected, Elliot's, Elliot's now flying down that left-hand flank, and there's yeah, there's be. nothing that that um, that Steve has to counter that. No. I mean, the only thing he can, he can hope for is that that big pond with a hill in it is going to slow some of, of Elliot's flanking stuff down, stop him being entirely wrapped out. I mean, I, I, to be honest, if it was me, I'd have, I'd have stuck that vermin tide a little bit more to sort of block that gap off between yeah. the wall and the yeah, the hill rather than just leaving it tucked in behind. But that's that's just me. He's, yeah, he's I'd, maintaining I'd his back line. Hmm. Yeah. Certainly just to threaten some of the area that uh, those butchers on the left could move into if the Vermintide was uh, just a bit further over to the left. Um, it would be able to block quite a bit of where the uh, where the butchers would move. Yeah. I think what Steve is, is going to be trying to do is to jump that Vermintide in front of the Horde as, as chaff the problem being that he's used to doing that when he can move at the double. Yeah, so he, he won't can, be able to do that on, yeah. in the middle of all that scenery. Mm. I don't mean to keep talking Steve down or anything, but uh, I'm not biased too much. But uh. <laughs> not too much. <laughs> no, but I mean, like like he said, he, he did he, he he did acknowledge right at the beginning that because he wasn't paying 100% attention to, to what Elliot did, and he, he assumed that Elliot was going to put his Abyssal Horseman up in that top right-hand corner and mm. double up, that he, he sort of lost track. Because, I mean, even if he did just put perhaps uh, one or two of those Nightmare regiments over on this left-hand side... Definitely, yeah. It'd be a whole different dynamic to the game. Because yeah. the Gargoyles wouldn't wouldn't be where they are now because they'd just get shot off, wouldn't they? Yeah, they're the shooting ones, aren't they, as well? Yes. Yeah, they've got the bio. Yeah. Is it bio cannons or something? Blight cannons, yeah. Um, Blight cannons. Yeah, so so yeah, they'd have taken the the gargoyles off in one hit, and that'll be it. I mean, it's, they're a bit like using boomers. So, um, I mean, I use boomers a lot, and, and and putting one out on either flank if you've got people mm. with troops of gargoyles is is a fairly good tactic to stop them from zipping up the top there. Yeah, definitely. Because at the moment they're gonna they they turn two they're going to probably be behind Ooh, so, he's charged... line looking at... mm. so Elliot's charged here's what is it uh Solbane in oh, on the that, right course. yeah well he, he gave him that 16 he was in it wasn't he so yeah because yeah. he measured to the unit not to the hero um five attacks do you know it's, it's not a well, plus the um, the Solbane is speed nine, so that helps it's as well. It's not often make you have to go over that wall, though, isn't it? Yeah. Which is probably all that's being looked at there. Or, you know, obviously it's going to give them a flank on a, an individual, but that's not worth standing back for, is it? 
It's just a speed bump. Actually, I'm not. I'm not sure why Elliot's done that. To be honest with you, because the hack paws are nimble, so they can just go right around the individual anyway. Yeah, so I, mm. I don't know why he's done that. Maybe it's just it's so by so by mighty. I don't know. No, but the the hack paws are nimble, so they can um, yeah, go on screw. Cut round there. I am right. They are nimble, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are nimble yeah. hack paws. They, they're like um, flea bag riders, mm. but they have extra two attacks. I think sixteen attacks rather than fourteen. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Why he's done that? Doesn't seem to be getting him anything. I don't know. Right. Considering how uh, distracted Steve was when he was putting everything down, maybe it's just an extra distraction. Highlight the fact that he'd uh, left it in range <clears throat> and just put him Maybe on the back. Really the top. It's indestructible. Have on the right flank, and he's not. Uh, he's not bothered. What else? What else happens? Yeah. So yeah, two damage on the hack paws, that's not going to be uh, enough to break them as expected. Definitely not. They're absolutely fine. Mm. And I bet those hack paws are in range of the um, horsemen as well. Yeah, mm. they will easily. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So, so yeah, they, can, they can, just, can just back off and swerve and around. Screw. Yeah. And then the rest of Steve's stuff can go into the... Uh, into the hero there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's gained, Elliot, really. Well, we'll ask him later. Mm. Bob, you've well, got I mean, the hat paws, the, the, the hat paws are, are only going to slow the Abyssal Horseman down, but, it, I mean, it still gives Steve a little bit of time. Oh, he's, he's going into the... Uh, sending his warriors in. Are they, is he going to do the corkscrew on the... Um, Pause. Oh, he can't now. Perhaps he hasn't seen it or he just doesn't want to. Yeah. But, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd want to send the nightmares in there. Not have them stuck behind still. Because if you sent the... Uh, the hack paws off and corkscrewed them in. Yeah, he's probably going to lose the hack paws, but he's gotten the uh, the nightmares into combat. Mm. Because as it stands, I don't think those two units are going to be enough to take off the uh, the hero there. Hmm. Hmm. What's that for? Oh, the swarm cry with the loot. Now, I'm, I'm shocked at Steve actually taking that. I, I did sit there and say that you could end up taking the flank, but you'd be better off not bothering. He's just locking himself all up. I think Elliot has yeah. done what I thought he was going to do there. It's a distraction tactic, and it's he's put him on the defensive, so Steve <laughs> is talking to get rid, but not taking notice of getting forward. Does, but does but it's not... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a distraction tactic that should have worked. No, it shouldn't. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> it, it, somehow it, it's almost like you kind of half mind read things and think, yep, Steve's mm. great is on this wavelength tonight. <laughs> I take it you're laughing at the comments, are you? Oh, no, no, that was separate. I'm, I'm just looking at how that worked and thinking that that shouldn't have happened. He should have just been so, and getting out of there. People make yeah, and in, in Steve's position. Sorry. People make mistakes. It's just... Uh, oh, they do. Like and it's usually me that does it, which is why I can spot <laughs> But it is, it's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to count on your opponent making a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know, oh. Elin can make mistakes too. Oh, where did he come from? What happened then? 
he's reversing the the hordes of the center he's looking at so so he can get the hack pause in right okay but he's leaving <laughs> yeah oh this is this is going to be one of them games isn't it <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's decided to, to protect his flank with the vermin tide, like we were mentioning before. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I'll wait till he's finished moving before I open my mouth. <laughs> wait till next time. It's like it's like watching cricket in reverse. Um... <laughs> and that person over there didn't just catch the ball. Mm. Or is it the is it the IT crowd where they're watching the football? Yes. Oh, and he's 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 kicked the ball to another bloke, and and he's got and and oh, and that that obviously warranted a cheer. Right. Well, it'd be interesting when he cut when they come back on whatever the result mm. to find out what the thinking was behind that one. So I'll make a note of that. Well done. My amazing pad. <laughs> Questions. <laughs> How did you find a game of push? <laughs> oh dear. I, I... So you're getting the hack pause over to the other flank, that's a good idea. But I'm wondering whether he's leaving himself enough room or whether he's going to find himself getting road blocked. Hmm. No, we're onto shooting already, so he's, he's done some he's odd moves. his movement. Yeah. Right. And there's not going to be a lot of shooting, really, is there? Just his lightning bolt on the fiends. Gets what? two damages, that. Three, I think. Well, oh, what's the little character behind the... Uh... The centre. Behind the centre, that's Elliot. another brood. That's a brood mother. No, on a, on Elliot's side of the table, in the middle. Oh, right. that, that's the wing, the Cromwood wings. Okay. And the other one is um, the crone with the boots of levitation. Is it? No. <laughs> so it can move move eighteen inches and solder uh, drain life. Nasty. Bane chant. Yeah, he's Bane chanting the uh, hack pause. <clears throat> he wouldn't need that if he said the, if he said the, the yeah. nightmares in instead. <laughs> I know. But there we go. Well, he's, he's trying to be certain, isn't he? Obviously. Oh, is that a 10 on the... That's a, that's a 10 on the... Um, yeah, that's not enough. Nerve though. check, but it's not enough on it because they're 16, 18, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, oh, and he's put weakness on the uh, the abyssal horseman. <clears throat> well, that's good. That's, that's an interesting. They're <laughs> uh, the elite that's ones. Has <laughs> he left anything in range? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Just that horde is in range. Okay. Okay, so we're going into the hero now. Six damage on the first volley, which I believe is the hack pause. Is that not the hack pause? 16 dice. Yeah, did he not do the ones in the flank? He hasn't done yet, no. No. And he's removed his turn one. Okay. Ah. Interesting. Oh yeah, saw That's that coming. Right. Yeah, that, that was very obvious. But he didn't do all his rolls. No, he didn't do the ones in the side, did, did he? No. Oh yeah, he did. Twelve. Uh, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, they, I'm, is, <coughs> So Ignorous. they didn't cause anything. Hmm. See that summoner crone's going to sit there, drain life in the hack pause until yeah, until they give up. Yeah. 
from what are they 14 16 something like that but it's you know it's reliable damage being uh 12 14 not 14 16 12, 12 14 but they have yeah um, yeah, it's reliable yeah. damage and uh, he's going to be healing it off the fiends all the time mm. oh, yeah because they can do it um, up to 12 inches can't they yeah or nine inches i thought it was further than that was it 18 inches for chrome bound i don't know i don't <laughs> i don't play twilight king so it's something offensive 18 inches it's huge mm. most of the board so i guess the one of the questions for me is do you heal the fiends first or do you heal the hero because the hero mm. the, the hero's nerve is 13 15 so if you can knock a good chunk of that damage back off it's mm. going to be sticking around for a little while yet and it's doing a good job of blocking everything up. Yeah. Well, it's, it's keeping the majority of this force in one corner. Mm. I, I can't believe that Steve did that, really. But I, I can, because it's the kind of thing I call <laughs> boring fast. But, you know, <laughs> it, at the same time, you sit back and you think, oh, Steve, you've been playing long enough to spot that. He's excited it's about his new dog. Uh, <laughs> it's the new dog. It's his Spanish water dog that looked very cuddly and fluffy. <laughs> of course, it's possible that he wanted to draw Elliot in like that. Yeah, he might have a, he might have a, a cunning masterstroke plan. To cuddle horses. I, I can see how that works. I'm, I'm not sure how... Cuddling the horses on that side is going to help him in the middle much, but is the uh, crone the summoner crone? Is, is that in range of the nightmare horde on the the nightmare regiment on the left? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirty. It's just with twelve and a half just inches out. away. Fine. Because that would have been a really good pickup if. Uh, Mm -hmm. If he'd missed that, don't like where Elliot's cut those butchers so much. Which ones? Mm -hmm. at, at, at the side of the uh, field with the, uh, the they're going to have a hindered charge if we charge there, regardless. But. Well, that's, that's gargoyles, nah. so they're not. Oh, is it gargoyles? It yeah, like they're gargoyles, so they, they, they're they quite happy there. That's the butchers. Yeah. Me not looking badly. Sorry. Yeah. So what's that? Is that drain life? The fucking flyers will go fine there. Um, Looks like it didn't do anything, though, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it did. It took one off the uh, fiends. So it's gone for healing the fiends over the... Uh, yeah. The hero. Oh, five damage. That's nice. Mm. So that so puts him in danger him. range now. Yeah. 12, 14. So seven. Is that a waiver? Five is 12 is wavered, yeah. That's perfect for Elliot. That's exactly what he wants. Because <laughs> they are completely in the way now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Away. Yeah, but you won't be able to get anything else in there. That's the thing. No. You'll be able to take on the abyssal horsemen. Oh, why is he taking them off? I thought they were just. What? The dead? Oh, right. Yeah, I've just missed those rolls. I, I should have this maximized somehow on my screen and it's not doing. I'll fix that later. I'll sit here all confused. So shuffling to the right, he was trying to block some charges going in, but I don't think he can mm -hmm. quite make it. Um, but that's a really good position for Elliot because it's uh, gummed up those two nightmare regiments, and they can't even see over the top to shoot either, can they? No, because they're the same height. Yeah, that waiver there is perfect for him. Is 
to that lactic. I'm looking at this mess in the middle. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel that Steve's the one who's got to engage there. He's got to make the first charge because Elliot's surrounding him. If if Steve doesn't move somewhere, then he's going to start getting butchers in the flank. Well, what's this? What's these guys? So the 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 one the the horde on the left are the uh, Strider J boots. Yeah. And they're in range of the uh, butchers. Mm -hmm. The ones on the right are the caterpillar. And they're out of, out range, of range of everybody. Yeah. So he's trying to reduce the amount of stuff that can come in. Yeah. And I don't know whether he could fit them so into Steve, anything. What did Steve do there? So he disengaged, pivoted he and He disengaged and, and nimbled up back. Yeah. Which is a, a it, it's a good move. And you can get one of them. Mm. Would it still be nice to get both those nightmares in? Yeah, it would, but it's not going to happen, is it? No. And it's, he's going to. He, You'll probably bane champ the, the front nightmares but against the abyssal. Oh no, maybe not. Because <laughs> where he is now, he can't see them. No. I suppose he's, he's wanted to sort of play a little bit of a longer game. Um, take out that hero, freeze up a lot of that flank. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think the priority would be getting rid of that hero so that he can um really start throwing units at the abyssal horseman he's not left himself you know has he got i'm gonna go through that gap I suspect it can get through but perhaps not into a position it wants to You can just imagine the stream of expletives that Steve will be letting out as he's trying to move that. <laughs> I think I'll be doing the same. <laughs> I'd also be wondering if I needed another bottle by now. Oh, Steve. Yeah. That would be my answer. <laughs> And I'm my main thought is how he's going to tackle this middle because I still don't think, well, I think the guys. I think he's 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 gonna he's gonna try and uh, he's popped his plague pots. So those in snare are they? Yeah, stealthy and in snare. I like what Matt's just asked. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? I wonder if those horsemen burn through all they look like. Yet. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> no. Hmm. So one thing, if you're playing a game that involves dice look always has a factor in it i mean i mean technically uh elliot could call steve out and say oh you have to declare the plague pots at the start of your turn and it's you've moved some stuff and you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've definitely played people who would try and pull that but uh i do not see elliot ever doing something like that no oh, he's a nice guy yeah, he's all right. Well, he's all right. Some of the time. <laughs> yeah. When he's not stood at the other side of the table from me, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that can think that. <laughs> <laughs> he is delightful, but 
he is a hard opponent to stand up and face. Okay. I'm not liking the flank that's just been given from the large horde. Well, it has to because... I know he's at the side of a hill. Well, the butchers, he's out of the butchers. Um, right, yeah. The impalers can't see it over the hill. What about... Yeah, he's, he's, uh, given, he's, given a rear, he's given a rear to the gargoyles, but to be honest... Gargoyles. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't underestimate gargoyles. No, 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 especially not with thirty attacks. Yeah, would they be hindered? I don't no, think they would not. be. He's, he's placed them so they're just off the side of the thing that will hinder when they fly in the air. Yeah, because you don't know what. And they should when they, hit, when they hit the back of that the back of that horde. Would they centre up enough to be hindered? Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. We'll find out when it happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that makes. I don't because think that makes what, a massive difference in terms of your decision there, because you're still getting a lot of hits in there, and it'll be enough to tip a combat over if you send another unit in the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty attacks hindered is better than no attacks not hindered. It's going to be hindered. Well, be 30, Thirty at fives, isn't it? Yeah, because he could he could use the vermin tide regiment to force them to do that. Well, he's, it looked like then they'd have to. The Vermintide are going in, aren't they? On the beams. Now, the Vermintide are the little unit at the back here. Oh. Hack paws. Oh, Not Vermintide. Hack paws, that's it. It's me. I, I can't bring any of it up. I've not got some my own UV. And they are very pretty and colourful, so I should get <laughs> quite quick. It's very crap. Crap. He's They're very almost proud like of his battle cats. Yeah. Mm. I think it's cute. I, I, I can agree with him. You get bored when you're painting the same colours all the time. So I, I've probably done the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have it some of his fantastic painting. I'd, I'd get. Uh, I'd, I'd say that those battle cats would fit perfectly in with most of the stuff he's done. He's got some fantastic uh, models. Love the one that you did for the uh, King of Hurts uh, painting competitions just as we all went into lockdown. It was fantastic. Well, charge. charge. Nice. So. I have to say, the options here for Elliot look really good because he can send both the butchers and the horsemen into the um, into the horde. That on their own would probably be enough to to take that off in one hit, even with it's in snow, which is taken off now. Is he taking his plague pots off? No, it's it's no. What it is is uh, because he oh, it's behind. He, it's a part of his right. army. They're under. They go under the, yep. the under the units when he moves. Sure, it. yeah, yeah. So if the um, the two units go in the front and the the gargoyles go in the rear, that is to me pretty much guaranteed one hit. Um, and I think you'd be able to send the top gargoyles into the other horde to protect any potential flanks coming in and tie that down. Yep, they're in range. And once the other units move, they'll be able to see. Oh yeah, I was just going to say, at the moment they can't see because of the butchers, but... Yeah. And so yeah, that would, that would keep you fairly safe. Um, you'd be right up in his face, you'd be blocking off the bottom horde, the fiends are almost certainly going to be able to deal those hack paws in one hit. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a shame nobody else went in there with the hack paws. You, you don't really want well, to do anybody as a single unit. Well, there wasn't any. There, there wasn't there anything that could. Got in, but 
at the same time. I mean, to be honest, it will be interesting to see what happens over on the right hand side. I know we're we're discussing the centre at the moment, but they seem to mm. be jockeying for position there. It's the the main action's gonna happen there, but that that right hand side could still give Steve let Steve bear some fruit if he, if he managed to get them nightmares but through. Some flanks. But he, he does have to get himself round them past everything first, really. He's he's blocked up a lot of his force in one corner. Mm. I, I kind of feel that this has been a a game where they each wanted to delay on one side of the board and break through on the other side of the board. And I think they both played it the wrong way around because I think Elliot mm. needed to delay on the right-hand side of the board for as long as possible. Yeah. And he went steaming in, which I don't think he should have done, personally. I, I'd, have, I'd have stayed back and held off and kept those forces tied up. And then in the centre, I kind of feel that um, with Elliot playing his hand on the right-hand side, Steve can hope to break through. And so he should have been playing a bit more delayed in the centre. Yeah. Rather than forcing the issue. The would have been a good move. But at the same time, I think... I don't know. I'm, I'm not convinced what Steve's trying to achieve in the centre there, to be honest. Yeah, Exactly. So on to oh, shooting. He is in that front unit. <laughs> I love that Matt says it was going to be push. You missed the beginning. Yeah. Of the <laughs> <laughs> we told you, make, you make one mistake on a live stream <laughs> and uh, you, you carry it forever, <laughs> don't you? It's all right. It's better than me saying it's dominate when I'm playing <laughs> I think I think the next live tournament I'm going to have a T-shirt that says "Are we playing push?" written on the front. <laughs> okay, I'll hold you. To that. <laughs> I might be right once in a in a week, <laughs> and you never know. Well, you've got my midsummer right. night one as well, haven't you? I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure it correct at some point. Yeah, but that, that's not a live tournament. It will be. I'll be streaming top table. You just might not show. <laughs> <laughs> so hack pose cause six wounds but and a, a seven for that's that's really good with the hinder charge it is very uh, that's 15 I think uh, are they 16 18 yeah you got nine hit nine fives good lord yeah. So he was he was one shy of wavering the uh, the fiends there. So that that was a really good roll. I did not see that coming at all. Oh, I doubt Elliot did either. <laughs> so that's that. That's on the uh, soul bane. Yep. Yeah, so it did uh, two one damage. Two wounds. One because it's defense five, I believe. I'll be back in a minute. I'm no. just going to get myself another can. Ooh. Only two hits from the nightmares. Two wounds at least, and then nine. Not enough, though. Nope. One shy again, I believe. Yep, mm. one shy again. Unless anything's got dread, does it? It might have something like that. Mm. No, I don't think so. No. I think he has rally, but uh, no dread. Oh, oh Elliot wavered. says wavered. Something must have. Pretty must Brutal. have over there then. Brutal. Oh, the um, Brute Enforcer has Brutal. Ah. Oh, good Lord, he's great value for 75 points. Mm. Wow. Okay. But the horsemen are uh, fury, of course, so they can just count yeah. charge. Uh, it's going to finish off the uh, hack pause. Mm -hmm. Well, he hopes. 
<laughs> See, this is well, the thing. If, if if he's, if Elliot held, had held off, this could be oh. another turn later and all these units would still be here. Mm. He could be drawn into thinking they're invincible knights. Yeah, know it's obvious. We know it's a silly thing. He knows it's a silly thing. But, you know. <laughs> Maybe just oh, no, oh, mm. no, I, didn't, uh, I, I did. I didn't measure that one. I was. I was. <clears throat> he, he, I was assuming that he double charged the. Uh, yeah. The Nero horde. We can. Oh, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> That'd be a hind hindered charge on its own. Uh, I'm assuming the gargoyles are going to go into the back of that one, but hindered. Yeah, but even so, I don't. I don't like that. No. <laughs> I'd. I'd rather be can to be certain of killing the one on the left, and like I say, you could use the other gargoyles to block up the one on the right. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Hindered and ensnare for two of those units. Yeah, I don't like that. I've missed a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's splitting up his forces. Yes, but he's getting a mm. lot of people in there. Yeah, but they're all hindered and ensnared. Yeah. Apart from the gargoyles are just hindered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's well, very interesting. You were clicking a pen. Sorry. <laughs> yes, it was me. Oh, so you I should shall, be. I shall, I shall put, put it down. down. Detach it from your fingers. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing nothing but criticising uh, the players in this game. I, uh, that's how it normally feels. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least at least we haven't had them. Did you see the um, uh, Paul uh, Paul Brown versus uh, Ben Johnson? Oh game? yeah. <laughs> every, every now and then it'd be like, "Be right back." Five minute break. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all sat there going, "What are we going to do now? <laughs> what, what should we talk about?" Yeah, just talk about yourselves till they get back. Wasn't that the one where they were also getting all the nerve values wrong? Every turn there was I, a nerve value that they got wrong. Yeah, and um, a couple of a couple of double charges, and what was the other one? Uh, oh, that's a nice regeneration roll there. Healed all but that's one. Very nice. Certainly be happy with that. So is the summoner crone with the wings going to move somewhere, presumably? So where she can do the maximum damage. I don't know what I'd want to do, really. I'd, I'd be tempted to finish off the hack paws that the fiends are going into because they're pretty badly damaged now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially as he's got a... It's an individual, though, isn't he? Mm. But yeah, yeah, but it's the drain, it's the drain life. Yeah, drain <laughs> life, the hack cores, and then uh, yeah. heal the heat fiends with it. Mm. And it benefits everyone then. Well, unless okay. you <laughs> it's the um, middle hordes got the ensnare thing because did he pop it on the left hand one but not the right i thought he popped i yeah, thought he popped it right. on both of them but he seems he to have put it back on the right. yeah right yeah so and then he did one didn't he he moved backwards that explains so why elliot elliot went for them then because <laughs> the 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 they're not, in, they're not the ensnared <laughs> yes <laughs> Right. So yeah, it's a standard the thing. <laughs> if you shuffle back a bit, everyone knows that that's that you're safe. Then you don't have to. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's not a <laughs> <way it works. laughs> 
Mm. I still wouldn't have gone with the judge myself, but mm. two wounds and two off. It's Second down to five, it's something. Mm. Is that a waiver on the Yeah? Oh, what was he what was he rolling just then? It was a nerve test, right? Yeah, so that's a waiver on the yeah um, waiver on the um, uh, swarm swarm crier. crier. So no being chant for you next turn, sir. That's right. Uh, combat. Again, there, Bob. I heard something. What? I'm sure I heard. I'm not... Yeah, it must be <laughs> mouse. God, depends on the depends on the pad. I'm using the mouse here. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some combats going down um hackpaws wavered on the, the right so that's still being gummed up mm. and they're pretty boxed in at that point because they can't withdraw because they'll hit the board edge Six wounds on the nightmares. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a nice nerve roll. Uh, okay. That's less that's nice. Good. Yeah. It's because they're still they're still inspired by the swarm crier. Yeah, and the rally. Oh yeah, no, they're the not. So wavered. Another perfect roll. Another waiver. <laughs> <laughs> dread. He's got dread. Ah. Uh, uh, because the, the uh, crones like moved that. within six inches, hasn't she? It's the it's the here. Is it the oh crone the solbane? Solbane. Yeah. One of them has it. Bob, if you move the trollcast live show sign at the bottom corner, people might be able to see what you're actually looking at. When you, it's only a thought. Uh, Just I can't see it, so I, I imagine most other people can't. Not well, no, but if you can't not. see it, nobody will be able to see it, will they? There you go. Look, we're looking yeah. at nothing. Yeah, you're looking at nothing. So the fiends are taken off the hack pause. That's pretty much expected. But he did have a very nice nerve roll there for 11. Mm. It's doing just the hindered ones going in. That's not much. I'd have much preferred sending the oh, Elliot. <laughs> See, we're not biased. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. I'm still telling him, telling him he's an idiot. I think it's like any game, though, isn't it? You sit there, and when you're watching from the outside... You oh, yeah, yeah. Three, three from, from the gargoyles. Minute. Yeah, three from the gargoyles. And he didn't mm. get a single hit on the from the, uh, from the butchers. The butchers? Yeah. Oh, no. Of course, That's they'll be hitting on sixes, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, they will. He, he could have held off another turn, couldn't he? I think only the left hand Ooh, horde would have been in charge range. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah. So that's a complete and utter bounce there in the middle. Just where you'd expect Elliot to dominate, really. He's got more stuff. There's plenty going on there. It's not like he's going to move any time. No, there's the, there's the, the plague pots going on the, uh, the second unit now. You just have to see what the repost is. Yeah, they're going to go in the flank of the gargoyles. But there is the other butcher horde there coming up behind. Yeah, and, and there's the impalers on, the, on the, the, yeah. the hill. Unfortunately, they won't be able to get any bonus from coming off the hill because as soon as they hit the bottom of the hill, yeah. <laughs> 
That's a nasty. That's nasty. That really is. That's that's not going to work to anybody's advantage when you've got Pathfinder at all, is it? You can think of all sorts of ways to use this, but not. To, no, if you've got Pathfinder or Stride, you'd be fine. Yeah. Well. I mean, if you've got Pathfinder or Stride, you'd be fine on all that. Minotaur chariots would be excellent. In no, fact, somebody said that earlier, didn't they? I don't think. Yeah, nobody's playing hard. We've uh, we've got Ed's game, which you'll be hosting. Well, I'll be hosting it with you on Wednesday, won't I? That'd be interesting. What's Pathfinder? Because you've got yeah. Order of Lady and Sylvian Kim. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be Two very Pathfinder armies. Yeah. I must admit, I, I gave a big groan when I saw this scenery when they put it up on Friday nights. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to do your army any favours, is it? Well, I've got my quads and I've got the J-boots. But no, oh, well, it's not going to do them any favours. Right, I'm going to go get a refill while Steve's doing his movement. No worries. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not going to do me many favours. Hmm. And I'm curious how he's going to untangle that right flank. Well, kill everything. Yeah, well, they, I mean, there is that, that. That's the easy option. It depends. I don't think Steve Steve will take the easy option, to be honest. No. So the uh, the the brute guy. <laughs> Mm. He's brute enforcer who'll be in the flank of those horsemen. He says, not being able to remember what a brute enforcer does. But then he's also got a chance of going over. He'd see the fiends as well, wouldn't he? Oh, looks like he's already doing it. Are we on to? Yeah, brute enforcer. Off we go. Yeah. Well, it, it'd be rude not to, to be honest, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it would. Is that... Is Mother Chrysler in the flank of them? Yes, she is, because she's nimble as well. She's she's no slouch. No. And she has the cloak of death, so... All right, so a brute enforcer, so it's going to be six attacks on threes with crushing two. I'd, I'd have been lightning bolting her to pieces earlier. I'll be honest. I, I saw the two characters at the back of everything, and I was sat there thinking, "What what heights everything?" But I've not got my UV up, so I couldn't. Yeah, but Elliot, Elliot, Elliot's not got lightning bolts, as he's got. Um... No, I'm, I'm not on about Elliot. I'm on about Steve. Isn't the oh, uh, right. isn't the thing with wings one of uh, Elliot's? Yeah, but he's got nothing. He's got nothing that can see over the top of the the butchers to target them. Right. So it was butchers that was in the way. As I said, yeah, the, the that showed me the height. Well, no, the no, the brood the brood mothers are height three as well as the as well as the butchers, so they couldn't have been able to snipe no, Elliot's see. characters out from behind there anyway. We don't all get your big tall lightning bolt nonsense, Jan. No, they big know. gribbly <laughs> height five brains. Know. I can't help myself though. It's just so so much fun. You sit there and you've got like three three big gribbly brains shooting at everybody. You feel so much better about it. <laughs> right, so And then if you really feel it, you throw a few horrors in for good measure. <laughs> As they all say. Doesn't sound like you've got enough scarecrows. Well, I've got a few. Just a legion or so. Yeah, not enough. <laughs> uh, it, it has its moments I prefer legions to anything else though It looks like he's, he's given up on the uh, 
trying to get that nightmare regiment through and to the side of the soul bane. I thought he, he thought he might be able to do it because he'd only be pivoting through his own unit, but obviously not. It depends whether he ends clear, doesn't it? Yeah. Ends clear and can still make move into contact. Who's the individual with one damage, Bob? That's uh, the chrome bound. Or, or are you talking bound. about the wavered one? Yeah, the wavered one. That's, that's, that's the swarm cryer. Storm cryer, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then that's the cloak of death, putting a wound on everybody within sex from Mother Kreiser. <laughs> she's gone into the flank of the butcher. She's quite nasty. I was looking, crushing two. That's going to be ten attacks at hitting on threes. Plus yeah, that's pretty nice. The, yeah, plus the output from the shock troops in front. They could be mm. in trouble. Cloak of Death is always a win. Almost mm. always. Unless you're going up against mm. uh, Iron Resolve. <laughs> or if you're playing Jonathan Fox, because he never remembers his Iron Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> so you could use, use anything that causes wounds and it'll just grind him down. He got so sick of that, he started using Obis, didn't he? <laughs> well, he came back to it. It was the game the other night where he was forgetting. Again. Right, short egg. So the other brood, the other broodmother, which way is she facing? She's just walked to the edge of that unit. Facing forward still. Okay, on some shooting then. Hmm. Well, he, he, he put that up and then... All right, here we go. Bane chant. Oh, Bane chanting shock troopers. See, that's why, be, oh, that's why I would have sent both of them into the one thing. <laughs> and sent the gargoyles into the other one because the, the other horde would be chewing on gargoyles <laughs> at the moment, not... Oh. Abyssal Horseman. And I, and I bet that the um, uh, Mother Kreiser wouldn't have been able to get into the flank as well. Possibly not. Oh, what the nightmare shit? Oh, they're shooting at the uh, individual. Summon a crown. 11 13, I think. Yeah. Yep, eleven thirteen. One shy oh, again. <laughs> so yeah, many one just, shies. Very he's just missing out. It's like his nerve checks out with him. Yeah, he's put, he's put boo. <laughs> <laughs> Combat. I just said boo and all. <laughs> right, so the enforcer. Three hits. I must have elite. Oh no, he's got the blade of slashing that he, <laughs> he remembered at the beginning. <laughs> you reminded him earlier, which is funny. Yeah. Enforcer. <laughs> oh, the enforcer's not an individual. Okay, fine. No, it's a it's a large infantry hero. Wow, that is good then. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, good berserker bully analog or something. Like that. Yeah, but only got three. Right. He's only got three attacks. He's all oh, right. Yeah, he's, he's definitely not berserker <laughs> bully. <laughs> no, because because that that would have been sixteen at oh. uh, sixteen at crushing Ooh. two coming down range. There. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh. That's that's an issue. He's just wavered the uh, the horseman, so they're not going to oh. be able to hit the nightmares in front. They're going to have to go into the enforcer. Oh, I don't like that, as Elliot. Uh, I'm sure he's <laughs> wavered. <laughs> People be like, okay, breathe. Oh dear. Just pass me another drink. <laughs> yeah, <Success>. yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. <sighs> See if he hadn't split his stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 14 wounds, is it? Sorry to make you sit through all this, Nick. <laughs> I'm not going. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to rub yeah, his face in it. You're going to, <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to give him a distancing slap later. It's all, it's, all, it's all going to depend on what happens with these gargoyles now as to where mm. he can leave that shock, that shock troop horde. Well, he's he's got to leave that shock troop horde there. He can't make a decision now. Um, so no, he's going to be taking the flank from those impalers. Yeah. Um, potentially a rear from the gar from the um, what do we call it? The butchers. That's what I mean. It depends on yeah. what happens to that that them gargoyles as to whether he gets the butchers in the rear and the impalers in the flank and the, yeah. the fiends in the front. But on past experience, Not knowing sure. knowing knowing me fighting <laughs> against gargoyles, even with a flank attack, <laughs> can't do that, Steve. Don't think there's any angle, Steve. You're trapped. Not going back yet. About the, about the only <laughs> yeah. thing he could do. <laughs> <laughs> <There. laughs> about the only thing he could do would be to um, move Mother Kreiser <laughs> forward a bit. Oh, because it's the units behind him that are stopping him from pivoting anywhere. No, I mean to to sort of block off the, you know, make make it a bit because if those mm. fiends have to go into yeah. the side, they might block off the flank charge from the impalers. True. I mean they can't fit in. I'm only grasping at straws to be honest with Steve. <laughs> here, but... I think I'd probably be doing a sidestep. What away I'm from them? Moving them further down so that. There's less room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. It's only my thought. Especially, especially like now. It. Yeah, because I mean, if you if you decide step to the right and now advance those vermin tied up, mm. or even just pivoted them, he could have blocked off that that rear charge. As it is, I don't think he can. I think they can no, still get in the corner. Too late for that one to kind of. It looks like he's moving them forward. Yeah, that'll All be enough right. to stop the uh, butchers yeah. getting in there. Yeah. Oh, well, it's another turn and then he, then he will get in. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what, what Elliot has got left after that other turn, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Because those, those abyssal horsemen are, are, are looking a bit poorly at the moment. Yeah. See if you'd have sent them both. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. It's one of those. It's one of those games. That, that's what I love about doing this commentary: the fact that, that we're we're not privy to what the players are saying and what they. No. You know, you're not watching the, the the decision making process, so you're just well, speculating on it. Yeah, it, it is funny, kind of coming up with theories of what you do and what you wouldn't do, and. <laughs> How this might work, and oh look, they put that up. You know, it's yeah. And it's, and the fact that the, the fact that there's the, the four of us sitting here talking about it, it obviously means that we're going to come up with stuff that they might not see while they're yeah. actually sitting playing, and they see something completely out of left field that we don't. We discuss it and yeah. come up with what we think is going to happen, and then they're going to go and do something completely different. It's usually a case if it doesn't happen at all. <laughs> yeah, well, most most of my games of Kings of War are, are maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. What the hell just happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got to agree with uh, Matt here. I don't know if any, everybody's seen this comment, but uh, you need to be able to tap into the comments like in every <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> I think that's yeah, totally appropriate. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not not always good for that. Michael Smith's asking if Scenario 3 is going to be pushed. Well, we don't honestly... No, I don't, we don't know. We keep saying it, so we never know. It, it might happen. Don't take what I say as being gospel. <laughs> well, you're not even in the tournament, Bob. That's why we've got you doing this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Wow. To be honest, I'm I'm glad my my free dwarfs have been absolutely knackered on this table. I think a lot of the armies are going to be a bit knackered on this table. I I imagine John Guns is going to run around this table like nobody's business with his umpteen yes, his, gargoyles. His of gargoyles. Yeah. There's some armies that are going to have a field day with this table. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> there they go. See, but the problem is that even them in the front and the impalers in the flank, that's not good odds. No, because especially with rallies, they, they, they're yeah. tangled that right behind it. Well, everything's going to be hindered. Those fiends are going to be hitting on fives. The Impalers are going to be hitting on fives. It's a lot of attacks. Have, but they, not, have they not got uh, Pathfinder? Yeah, the fiends have got Pathfinder. Oh, right. They've got oh, Macquars. Well, it's less bad. Macquars, they're not I mean, we've got the still, bad, but... still four. So, I mean, yeah. that's the one thing I don't like about fiends. Is it? They're, like, they're like my um, Brock Riders. They can be fantastic and then... The next time they go in, it's like they're using pool noodles. So yeah, they make surprises. Model that. <laughs> Sorry, I spoke of you there. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the problem is that if they don't break that, then he's got it in the flank again. Yeah. There's like some drain life support coming down there. Yeah, that'll help. Has he done regen rolls for the for all the uh, horsemen? He must have done because there's only ten wounds on that ah, yes, horseman now. I have to say, I don't like the. Um, Summon a crone in the bottom right. It's got a bit, too, a bit too close to those two sheets. Yeah. Minute, but I think I think perhaps he's trying to finish off those hack paws. <laughs> okay, so we have drain life going into. Those, which is just one damage. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. He's not doing well yeah, with his strength at the he's, moment, is he? No, he's going for the hack pose with the other one. Yeah. Three hits. Uh, three damage. So that's, mm. that's good. That takes him to double one. Yeah. Uh, well... Oh, 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 double one. You have to say it. <laughs> but they're not devastated. <laughs> Invincible. <laughs> oh, See, there's, there's a delay for me because uh, I get to hear Bob's screams of, of joy or whatever, oh, and then right. I get to see the results. So. <laughs> You're not a large it's because it's because I have to have it up on my screen for the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's got real time as well as stream lag. Yeah. I have battlefield prescience. <laughs> 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 the Mordeb of cow. Oh, that's very nice. Fifteen hits and lots of damage, and that's a deleted. Um, what do we call it? Swo no, brute enforcer. Brute Enforcer, yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. And the question no, is whether the... Running them down there. Yeah, we know about the double one, believe us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Obviously, Mark's diving between the Tom versus Tom game and us as well. No spoilers. Mm, yeah, no spoilers. We're not allowed. Oh, to he's picked. 
going. He's picked up the uh, the Nightmare Regiment there as well. So, yeah, actually, suddenly, Elliot is looking much healthier now. And that right-hand flank. Yeah, he's had that double one. But the, uh, the horsemen are sticking around. But I don't think that that summoner crony is going to last much longer. <laughs> Is that just four hits? Oh, four damage on the oh, that's not good. So we got four damage going onto the hordes, I think. Oh, was that yeah, elite? That was no, elite. That was elite. It's elite. Me. That was his elite <laughs> rolls. I was just going to say. <laughs> it's 11, 11 damage. Okay, that's better. But then a four, four for his nerve roll. Yeah, <clears throat> not quite enough. Yeah. Okay, it was it was a very good roll then. <laughs> I've not got the concentration either, Matt. I'm bad enough following one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching Tom's game straight after this. I, I think it'd be even uh, harder pressed to commentate on a game and watch another one at the ah. same time. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit kind of hilarious, though, actually doing commentary on two at the same time. It's like, and then Tom's game. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I watched one of the early stream games from Call to Arms, and Dan Miner was commentating on it. And then at one point, they said to him, Dan, pay attention. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I've got a conflict. I'm playing my Call to Arms game while I'm commentating on another <laughs> one. <laughs> he said, they're playing his game while he's commenting so on one. It's like, wow. So the uh, the butcher's taken off the uh, the swarm there. That's good. Yeah. Advancing forwards. Now the big one. He really needs to clear this uh, this other horde off. Like really needs to clear it off. He needs to, but I can't see it. That's no. the impalers on fours. There, I don't think. Well, actually, on that's, five, sorry. that's quite nice. That's what four damage there from them. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Ooh, They're going to go. Oh, that's more than that because that was elite. That he, I keep missing the yeah, rolling elite. elite. <laughs> oh, so he did 10, 10 damage from the impalers. Wow, okay. These are on oh, fire at the moment. Two up, yep. Oh, oh and a double one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> <laughs> Can we not say you'd be dead anymore? No, you can't. That's that not allowed. <laughs> if only one of us had a f <laughs> to tell me that was impossible. <laughs> I'm sure you've got a snake eyes banner because he, he just keeps doing it. I did. I did. I did the snake dice banner before I did the UB dice. And now with Elliot's comment, Elliot's comment there. Like... <laughs> Matt asks if it's uh, karma, and it definitely is karma, I think. Oh, oh I think John like definitely say that. As well. There was so much promise. It was like there's so much hurt going on there. Oh well. Whoops. Hang on. I'm tempted to uh, voice call him. Sure to laugh at him. I, I think the domestic <laughs> might be Nick and uh, Elliot later. To be honest, I don't. That's what I, that, that's what I put it up for. <laughs> because Elliot <laughs> told me there was somebody. <laughs> Oh, it's, in, it's using Facebook Messenger, so I can't do it. Damn it. <laughs> I'll just Engaged. text him instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another, oh. Another, another regiment of nightmares into the soul bane. Well, Steve <laughs> certainly... Uh... Well, now we need to see what these, uh, what, what those hack pulls oh. are going to do. Oh, they'll go into the uh, the chrome bound. 
the I'll crow now. Out. He's just getting yeah. just getting the swarm crier out of the way. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I guess there wasn't somewhere that uh, Elliot could have gone that would have been safe. No, because with the nightmares, they were covering quite a lot of his uh, mm. his manoeuvre space, weren't they? Ooh. 23 damage. <laughs> are they devastated now? Yeah, I think they yeah. are. Um, oh, my you, they rallied out. Oh, so. The 2022 base, how many rallies have they got? Well, they've got Mother Chrysler and the Tangle. Yes, yeah, so they're not devastated. The one shy are devastated. Oh, so, yes, yeah, no, the one, but it's not. not uh... Tangles rallying one and they. Uh, Mother cries. No, they they're not they're not rallying. Brood mothers. Right. I thought they were. Perhaps I should read the rules. <laughs> no, nah. the hard rallying. It... <laughs> nah, that would make oh, right. commentary working. <laughs> and it's gone to the loo. All right, talk amongst yourself. <laughs> oh. So I pass the gin. <laughs> Oh, oh grief. Well, you've been very quiet, Barry. Come on, give us some thoughts. What would you... Um, what, what do you project <laughs> <laughs> from this position? Of... My main thoughts are, I'm quite str I'm kind of struggling to see what's going on until after it's happened and been explained, so uh, I bet you're really glad you've had me on, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm just looking up my uh, me rules, because I'm without having a copy of the lists. Uh, I've never, never faced rats... Uh, oh, think, and I've not got a lot of lot of knowledge of what's going on with the old triplets, so I'm struggling a little bit. But uh, well, they're, they're hardly triplets; they're, they're night stalkers. <laughs> the majority of triplets. Oh, he's back. There's, there's, I think we said there was 23 elves, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically, yeah. A, regi a regiment of impalers and the uh, the two summoner crones and the soulbane. Which makes all the difference. And not a scarecrow in sight, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've seen enough of those, haven't you, Barry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, I'm rough with the tangle. Uh, I think he's just checking stuff. Playing. <laughs> now I must admit I, when it comes to Ratkin I've played Steve either twice or three times now and it's always been interesting and I've only ever played one other person with Ratkin so we don't see a lot of them up north when it comes to tournaments Um, I've I I not seen many of them. I really haven't. It's because no. we're so poor here in Lancashire. Nobody can afford to yeah, have a rat in the Well, here's my rat you on can't a stick. spare food to attract them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see a rat, you eat it. <laughs> what is Steve doing? I don't. Think I know he's trying to work that. something out, but I don't know what he's trying to work out. I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out why on earth he's working it's, out. Uh, it, his it's, the tangle, it's the tangle okie cokey as far as I can tell. Yeah, but I don't I don't figure out why he's trying to work out if he can get around the horde like that. Oh, I see what In he's case doing. He's, afraid of, maybe. he's assuming that he's gonna break the um the fiends the in fiends. front there and he's just moving his tangle to a place after he rotates them. Right, again. yep. Yeah, I see what he's doing. Clever. And he, and he said he wasn't very good at playing the game. He, he was sat there saying he was going to be positive earlier. I thought I was very impressed with that. Like, you can't do that. Oh, God, I've, I'm fucked already. 
the thing, the thing with Steve, the thing with Steve is, if you don't listen to the words that come out of his mouth, you think he is being because he's he's that sort of bouncy <laughs> person. Steve, but then the when you actually hear thought. what he's saying, he's so negative. <laughs> <laughs> but he says he says it in such a positive <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get beat today. Oh, oh that wasn't that wasn't quite be... camping off, Bob. No, I know. But he, he's going to batter me, wasn't he? <laughs> of course he is. It's a good job he loves you. <laughs> I know. I must admit. And he's told he's told all the Americans that I'm six foot five and go around hitting people. <laughs> he's adding an inch to your height, I'm sure you I know, I'm only six foot four. <laughs> <laughs> so why else did you hit anybody? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds I may incriminate myself. But anyway, it's gone, it's gone quiet again on the game. Okay, so Martin Garabino plays as well. Okay, cool. I think actually that's the other army that I've come across. I think I played Martin at Clash because I know we ended up outside chatting a lot and he's now one of my Facebook friends. So I think that's the other Ratkin army I've Martin G. I think Mark, I think Mark Cunningham's back on the uh, double entendres. Uh, yes. Oh, Is wipe, you meant. Stop. <laughs> Martin G's got a I think uh, whip and wipe is just a Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shooting. Brood mother's having so a go at the. Uh... Steve been forgetting uh, drain life, is he? Yeah. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> I think that was lightning bolt, though, was it? I would guess so. That many dice. Brood, the brood mother. I think mother cries a. Uh, uh, the tangle used drain life, uh, but the brood mother's have lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, what was that for? Oh. Bane champ. <laughs> Bob got really excited for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to stop watching it on that one. I guess I'm watching it on that one. <laughs> <laughs> stop watching it on that one. Stop it. <laughs> That's still a really good nerve roll. What was that on? <laughs> The impalers. Yeah, that's on the impalers. That, the, oh, uh, waver! That's right that's really good for Steve. Um, because they were. Of be course, because they're not they, they're not engaged anymore, are they? No. Mm. So they could have been um, just tapping the horde and doing the point of damage to force a nerve check, but they can't do that mm. anymore. So, so uh, you know, assuming that the uh, fiends get wiped out. Well, he's, he's trying to make that assumption. Oh, summon a crone gone. Yeah, that was the lightning bolt that target. Hurts. Yeah, that hurts. Yay, lightning bolt. That's all I can say. Love my lightning bolt. <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> I told mine. you we were <laughs> really useless. <laughs> this is going south very quickly for Elliot. <laughs> yeah, I'm time to Very hit. quickly south. Lots of hitting. That's, yeah. That's on the soul bane, is it? Oh. Yeah. oh, 12 of them did that leave three. me a waiver. This is the uh, other summoner chrome. Was that a re roll of one there? And they're the vicious. <laughs> oh, bless. Come on, roll the dev. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Kill him. Come on. <laughs> or in Nick's case, don't kill him. <laughs> Six and a seven. Dead. Yeah. 
and they are a key part of Elliot's forces. Mm. They're often well, what winning that's games. His ability to his ability to to take damage off God, isn't it? Mm. And his units are uh, they're all in. Well, <laughs> oh, another big nerve roll! Oh, wave at the abyssal horseman. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. You can just go straight back in again. Just what all it'd be doing anyway. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, invincible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're still only in the top end of five, so Elliot's got his comeback for this half, hasn't he? So, but yeah, the bloody furious <laughs> by now. <laughs> I know, I like that. Yes. <laughs> oh, there go the other unit. Uh, it was pretty much going to happen, though, with that many attacks coming down the line. Well. Well, he did seventeen. He did seventeen hits. It's it's five wounds. They were already on ten damage. Yeah. They were. Yeah, they're up against it. It's now a case of what he wants to do with it afterwards because he didn't count on that one. You know, he checked out the other one, but he didn't count on that one. Well, whatever it, whatever he does with it, it'll, it'll be positive. <laughs> <laughs> positive in a negative kind of. Oh, bless him. Let's let's all face that way in case it goes to shit. Right, Mother Kreiser, 10 attacks, 8 hits, Ooh. crushing 2, so 3's is it? Uh, twos. Twos. Depends 4 aren't they? Oh yeah, they're only 4, but it's not the butchers anymore, it's the fiends. Ouch. Ouch. <sighs> Somebody passed the lube. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's lost inspiring there as well. Oh, yeah, he's lost inspiring there. Just the crone went. Yeah. Yeah, this has very, very quickly gone south for Elliot. And in previous games, what he's done really well is when he's in a situation like this, he's used his uh, summoner crones just to pick off the key units that he needs to pick off. Um, mm. But obviously, he, he's lost them. Now he can't do that anymore. Yeah. Because I mean, the summoner crow would be able to pick up, pick up that horde quite easily, and yeah, maybe so that yeah. again, as long as he doesn't yeah. roll double ones on the nerve. Yeah, but that's but that's the thing. The, the summoner crones would have been able to pick off those hack paws, pick off the uh, damp, the what? severely damaged horde, um, and then later in the game they would probably have enough to pick off the other horde. What on earth? Did he just do the, a... Turn five. He moved his turn counter. No, he didn't. It, it, look at the horde. Which horde? <laughs> uh, the one that just... I, is it, has he just changed it so it's facing to the right? I, I, know, so. he moved, I know he moved his wound counters around. I bet... What he's doing is trying to humiliate Elliot a little bit because he's making Elliot take a rear charge. If that's what he's done, yes, he has. That's exactly what he's done. He's doing. Right. No, he hasn't. No, it's, it's facing oh, forwards. If you face, compare face, it to the one on the bottom, he's facing right. Okay, so he's making it so it's completely from. It's just a second ago he was facing the opposite direct right. It saw the other. Didn't so he, he had he had it the wrong way around initially. But I wouldn't put it past him to make Elliot face the other, uh, make the unit face the other way. So Elliot has to roll triple attacks, put on ridiculous damage. Because the only thing that's going to gonna save that, yeah. yeah. But the only thing that's going to save that horde at the moment is a double one again. Yeah, yeah. And so if it was going to happen, it would have been with like fifty <laughs> oh, damage oh, on it. <laughs> it was more the fact that it's gone pretty much in line with the other horde. They were that way on, and then I saw it right kind of upend and it's like what on earth is he doing there is he trying to get a flank is he trying to give them back is he what what's going on <laughs> and obviously he's just making it that everybody else gets a flank off anything elliot puts into the front of that unit mm. 
So, yeah, I think Elliot's uh, consigned himself now. So those gargoyles are moving off just to try and claim. Um, yeah, try and keep an objective somewhere. Corner. Well, nobody's going to catch up with him up there. No, but they could be lightning bolted. Mm -hmm. They could. Which is quite da quite dangerous for some of a gargoyles. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. No, I must have the tough taken go. Yeah, it's just um, Malie with a, a massive hammer unit that goggles are immune to, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> I, I think next time they'll hide around the other side of the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Gone. Considering they've only made everything height six, if he uh, stands the brood mother on the top of the uh, hill. Yeah, it's not going to be able to see still. It's still gonna be. Yeah, it's only height three. You know, I got the. I'm not used to these small things. It's just what the called? The impalers. Oh, sorry, bro. The impalers. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I got the impalers into the top left. <laughs> top left quarter. Oh. No, because the face they, they've reversed, aren't they? They've reversed. That's that's their reverse, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They've, they've, because they were wavered. Turn. They just backed up a bit. Yeah. They could turn and they could turn and go down <laughs> to the left there. Mm. I would but imagine only six try, inches. Yeah. Try and claim the other side. Maybe I'll do that then. You, you want to get your six portions. If, yeah. if they survive, is the problem, which I don't think sure. they will. Because mm. there's ten ten lightning bolts worth of two brood mothers sitting there. Yeah, and they're already on ten on six damage, so you're going to be yeah. looking at a good twelve odd at least. Sure. Limited options now, though, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's playing for extreme luck at this point, mm. and seeing it's what he can good. actually take out. It's very sure as to who could actually come off winning this, because in reality, so Steve Steve's on top. So he's taken out the oh, yeah, he's taken out Night. another regiment Night, nightmares. nightmares. <laughs> so it's it's oh actually, the, it could go either Do way. Do you know what? Do you know what? I don't think his position is as bad as I thought it was. It could go either way, very easily. Well, I think he's potentially about to clear up on the right-hand flank. And if he does that, no, he'll still be behind in points. Nope, ignore <laughs> me. <laughs> well. right, he's, he's getting kill points and he's getting scenario points for uh, tiebreakers, is what he's doing now. Hmm. I, I do think Steve's. It, he's got the upper hand, but there's so much that could go wrong for him still. Um, we've got Elliot. He's picked up the other. Turn to go at. Oh, I thought that was on the Regiment of Nightmares. No, it's not. Well, if... <laughs> I like the year there. <laughs> invincible. Decided. I, I think he's just glad yeah, he invincible. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, lowercase. <laughs> Very much. Oh, oh, I don't start clicking. Matt oh, Green will complain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a pen. <laughs> Yeah. Every time he had a classic line from the uh, morons from outer space, we call this a pen. P E N N. Oh. Oh, he's got the big. He's, he's got the big ruler out. He's checking. <laughs> he's making sure. Hop to brood mother over the border to get the points. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, she did. Did Elliot do the combat against the Nightmare Regiment? With the uh, Soul Bane? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he did. How many, how many attacks has he got? Five. Yes, Paul Roberts says yes. Yeah. 
yeah. we should have noticed that really we should have done you put four wounds on it all oh, right yeah because it was a fresh nightmare regiment yeah we were too busy talking down elliot's chances to notice that he was uh, <laughs> rolling some dice So none of uh, Elliot's units are looking decidedly healthy or in a good position. It's the fact that it's the fact that Steve's got these two two brood mothers in the middle here who are scoring units. Mm. They're like ogre heroes; they can just go bloop yeah. on the last turn. And even if they don't claim it, they can, I mean, they can contest it. If you can yeah. get one into the uh, same yeah. same square as the gargoyles, it can contest it. It's the tangle, yeah. the tangle of the monster as well, isn't it? So move, that's why he's moved it into that. Yep. Sneaky. And at the moment, if he just pops a broodmother over into Elliot's two-point scoring zone, he's uh, golden. Yeah. I, he's still got another turn. Oh, no, he's turned six, isn't it? Yeah, Steve's turn six. Okay. I don't know if that Mother Chrysler is uh, over the line of its... No, I don't think... I think that's what he measured before, and I don't, I don't know whether she could get over there. But right. is, it, is, is it majority? Because you have to uh, then it's... decide which half... Which half yes. you, which one you're in? Yes, you're majority of your Yeah. I came back just at that moment. So hot paws aren't able to charge in because I later blocked them off. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Of course, the nightmares could get an overrun if they kill the uh, thingamabob. Yeah. But the Abyssal Horsemen are only on two wounds due to the power of drain life, so. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, that's the uh, tangle going for the uh, impalers. They're not happy. <laughs> Definitely not happy. A lot of things with a lot of hurt. <laughs> Come on, Karma. Double one, Karma. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I'll be accusing you of witchcraft and lighting the candle in. Oh, Bane Chant. Mm -hmm. Oh. Does it get it? Doesn't get it. Bless him. Come on, double one, double one, double one, double one, double one, double one. And there's no one. No, that's definitely not a double one. No. Well. So, Mark, can you just asked which zone are the impalers in currently? No. They're now in no zone. They've gone. Voila. I I would have said bottom. Actually, I think bottom. Because they were straddling the uh, the horizontal twenty four inch mark. Uh, so I believe that's a break on the uh, butchers there. Is it nines? Maybe not. No. Oh. No, it wasn't. They're fine. Okay. 
and I think he's wavered. The hero, yep. Yeah. Okay, so the butchers can strike back. Mm. So let's look at it. How are we doing here? We're still point up there. We're all on the. Nah, Steve's got this. There's not much that Elliot can do about it. Well, he's got three, at least three points, and I can see that. Right. Because we don't, even well, if even if the, the butchers the don't. Top. Is that right? Yeah. The butchers would have to be really lucky to kill the that the unit board. there, I think. What yeah. they do I don't, no, I don't, five, no, I don't know. Eight wounds. Yeah, I think they've got about a good chance of it. A little well, bit of luck, they could do it. They're still in the... Mind yeah, you say that, I'm used to playing there. against your butchers, Jan, which usually do about two wounds on in combat. Yeah, well, that's my luck with the dice. <laughs> 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 it carries across to everything, Bob. Like I say, when it comes to dice, some games I have it, some games I don't. And as you know, when I've got it, you just don't stand a chance. Hmm. In fact... A table due on Friday, was it? I knew, I, I knew, I knew that right. was going to come up. Here we go in combat. So plenty of hits, plenty of wounds. Uh, so that's eight wounds. So I believe it will not be far off the one. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Double one. Oh, no. <laughs> Nick, that meant saying, you just jinxed him. You just jinxed him. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is beyond unfortunate. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I must admit, Steve's put Invincible there in big cap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> It really doesn't matter if they survive oh, now, does it? No, please let these please let these be another double one, please. <laughs> oh, no. I'll do I'll do anything for these to be a double one as well. Oh, well, so we're we're not four... have to calculate the odds. <laughs> that <laughs> oh great. <sighs> oh, I will. God, the one, the one, the one, the one, the one, God! That there is a thing. Jam dice exist. <laughs> oh! Oh, big roll. He's got him. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what? Wow. I think it would be advance, yeah, advance them, and that'll keep them out of any charge ranges. Mm. Can he? What's, can what he sort of? Just got the back flank in there, Bob. Can you stick? Just it's just a tangle is yeah. yeah. It was just oh, uh, and the brood mother is as well. Yeah, turn seven. That's I wouldn't him. have thought he. I wouldn't have thought he'd want to do that anyway, though, would he? Because oh, they got a turn seven. Yeah, there you go. Oh, they got a turn. Well, seven. They... Yeah, he can always back up and take from wherever, but. You've got a brood mother there well, that... that has no damage on it. Something that's going to take two points if it stays in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, the but the butcher is going to be scoring I'd, two points. I'd, I'd get rid of that butcher board. I'd, I know. Well, he will because he's got a ten, he's got the ten lightning bolts and the drain life from yeah. the. Uh, yeah, so he, so he actually doesn't need to engage it, does he? Turn face and shoot the shit out of them. So it makes a difference where, where he moved to. He wants to be able to charge in his turn seven if he miraculously survives. Mm. Assuming any more double ones can be rolled in this game. Well, it's entirely it possible. By Steve. Prove that already. <laughs> 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 and I'm loving the fact that everybody's gone into the mess at the right hand side now. It's just like, right, bollocks to it. Let's get in there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, what started off with a 
very tactical layout <laughs> <laughs> has, uh, has devolved into let's just hit it let's hit it harder and hope yeah well I, I still think Elliot should have held back another couple of turns <coughs> on that right hand flank and yeah that multi-charge in the middle mm. that multi-charge in the middle yeah the thing is, in reality, that multi charge could have gone so many ways. It really could. Well, to be, to yeah, be honest, yeah. it, it'd be interesting <laughs> to. Uh... The ones have made a huge difference. Well, yeah, but it, it's it's the positioning that that would have massively improved. Um, yeah. Because it's things like the uh, Mother Chrysler going in the flank. I don't think yeah. that would have happened if he'd double charged. Because no, I think that the other unit would have been pushed too far forward, um, so I I think he would have he would have come out an extra unit from where he is now if he'd have done that, even if the dice had gone badly and he'd got the double one and all the rest of it, I think he'd be a unit ahead of where he is now, which mm. would potentially be enough for the win. Mm. Well, if we get a turn seven, the stuff that could still well, go. They, they've got a turn. They're, they're on the yeah, turn they've got seven. A turn. It is a turn. So everyone yeah. keeping the sixes going. Oh, I don't know. Why does nobody else have turn seven counters apart from me? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Shooting on the butcher hood. Okay. Or maybe not. No, nope, Bane Champ first. Bane Champ first. <laughs> yeah, the uh, hack pause Bane Chanted. So yeah, it makes sense. Be... 28 attacks. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if those horsemen survive now. That's three damage onto the butchers from lightning bolt. Yeah. Yeah, that's and some drain life as well. Another two from that. What's this now? This yeah, is lightning bolt. Yeah. The yeah, uh, the first the the the, the first one was uh, the tangle, wasn't it? Ten dice. Is it five yeah, ball? Another... Ah, have... uh, right. Okay. Okay, yeah, and then you got five, five, five hits yeah. with lightning bolts, and it's gone. Poof. Yeah, no for all of eleven. No inspiring courses. Yeah, those gargoyles are doing a fantastic job, though. They yeah. have <laughs> not got it's. It stops Elliot from being tabled. That's the important thing. <laughs> yeah, does, yeah. That's the important thing. Yeah, there's his vicious realm. Oh, those horsemen are toast. It, unless, unless. No. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's done it. Good nerve rolls as well again. Yeah, mm. um, Steve's had some really good... Well, he started off bad, didn't he? Because he, he was always one shy. One shy of wavering everything, and then yeah. all of a sudden yeah. he's, he's just... All of a sudden he's rolling seven, eight, nine, tens. Well, Steve, instead of pivoting, if I was you, I'd have done a sidestep there. But And then you've got one in the bottom and one in the top. Ellie, it's the biggest head in the private chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must admit, I'm looking forward to seeing what they have to say for themselves. <laughs> oh. I like it. Oh dear. <laughs> so he's going into the uh the regiment there to try and finish that off. Mm-hmm. She should be able to do two damage. No. Nope. He can't possibly get another double one. It's no, he hasn't. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Spoilers, Bob. <laughs> no, I said it as soon as it came up on the other screen. I'm not watching the game live now. I'm watching it. I'm watching it on the same feed you've got. Well, we we think we can be a bit behind you there still. <laughs> oh dear. That'll be game there then. So that will be three, four. Five to one, I count. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, and a lot, a lot of dead stuff. <laughs> Elliot table. Elliot back. rage quits. <laughs> <laughs> I hear so you. There you go. Table, gone. Flips. <laughs> table flips. I hate dice games. <laughs> and he just rage quit. He's out. Yeah. <laughs> <his game. laughs> oh, He's man. not coming back. He's not coming back to the chat. He, he's coming back. He's no, he's not. <laughs> he's... <laughs> No. He, he's he's right. in the rain. He's a terrible wife. He is. He's a, he's a violent man. <laughs> it wasn't just so she a good look there then, or the fact that Nick was cursing him by saying he can't be the one again. Uh, I forgot to roll drain life on turn turn two or three or something as well, which would have taken the horseman off, which would have been something different. But yeah, apart from that. Yeah. There are a couple of things that it looked like you've forgotten at times. Yeah, and so like with the horde that was double one, I should I forgot to roll the vermintide first, so I could have reformed them a lot yeah. level up, more level up. Um, and, I, and I did it, and I was like, oh no, ah, I forgot to do the thing. But as it turns out, <laughs> didn't matter. Didn't matter. Bet it's been lucky and good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There you, go. you see your positive. Your positive negativity has worked after after you saying at the beginning, oh no. I'm going to try for positive, he says. We did it. <laughs> John, John Fawkes was in Elliot's internet like that. I'm going to hack your internet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elliot. <laughs> I'm still smiling. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> you're not, you're you're why. sure it's not just a grimace? <laughs> yeah. You had it come in. You had it come in. That's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, I, mean, that's I don't want to blame the dice, but I think I'm blaming the dice on that one. <laughs> I would, oh, I would get three double, three double ones, and they weren't like. Well, they, 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 they were all, they were all game ones. losing double ones. If yeah. I had either of them, I would have won. <laughs> Any point. In that bloody invincible regiment on the right, it's like I'm wavered. Oh fury! I'm wavered. Oh fury! I'm wavered again. Oh fury! Like that. <laughs> Really I can't believe there. those hackboards survived on the back of yeah. that. They, they, they're, they're still there. <laughs> they they shouldn't be there. <laughs> Hack poor town. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So <laughs> I, I'm not sure I can break that one down tactically for you. <laughs> <laughs> I also, well, did you check out my hilarious, because I'm such a slack-ass player. I am so slack, right? I moved the hackboards <laughs> over by that house. And like that, I'm going to slip them through next turn, and then I'm going to charge with the other ones. And I left like one point. It was point one of a millimeter. I didn't move them back. They could. They still had point one to go, which would have allowed them to do that. Didn't bother checking because I thought I eyeballed it. Went, eh, eh, that's probably fine. Good day, good day fuck. Told you. <laughs> called that one. <laughs> yeah, so I, so yeah I you did. You um, called that one. I was, I was like, looking oh. at it thinking, I guess I'm not going to fit through there. <laughs> they would have done if I'd have just like just played Make properly. Measured it. Measured it. Measured it. Measured it. Didn't, didn't need to because I knew the dice were going to be on my side, right? <laughs> well, to be, to be honest, there, there, there were a couple of points in the game where you, you, I'm surprised you couldn't hear us shouting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there, there was there was the right at the very beginning that the hack pause got charged by the soul bane, and we all confidently said, "Oh, it's all right. It'll just draw nimble round them and go into the abyssal horseman." I was kind of hoping he would do that because then he wouldn't kill them and the horseman would kill the hat paws on return. Yeah. yeah so it was a bit of a trap, was that? So I was trying to kill you, and it's trying to. We can't believe you've right. fallen into that trap. That's like a rookie yeah. trap. That's the kind of thing Jam would go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, didn't, um, I didn't do it on purpose. I did, I did see it, but actually, I would rather because I had all my units down in the corner. I didn't want to leave one unit out out of the charge range of all the other units, which he would then murder, leaving me with one less unit. Because none of those mm. units are any good in the corner. They're all individually useless. But together, they're to honest, a little bit more combined, annoying. They're all useless. I'll just look at the, uh, the result of the game again, Elliot. Yeah. The, the game, right? So Ben and Horseman should have wiped that flank. In fact, yeah. they did yeah. wipe that flank, except there's two double ones on it. Which means yeah. that they did not wipe they that flag. No, they yeah. didn't wipe the flag. So right. you can take that. <laughs> and we all know that it is impossible to have that many double ones in a game. I mean, it's sport. physically impossible. impossible. Hmm. Yeah. Turn it to maths. You, you, you've um, got to have a PhD to know that. I, I haven't got a PhD. You know, I'm working on it. But, uh, <laughs> but when I do, 
if you did have a PSD, any you... number ones is impossible. Yeah. Part of if you did have one, you wouldn't have been able to roll those PhD those double ones. PhDs. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling my PhDs across the table. <laughs> I was saying, but now I have to like play one of those awful lists that those bastards have brought, which is going to be just very <laughs> distressing for me, frankly. Uh -huh. So, like, well, well, question on the game for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of felt from the outset that um, it was almost like Elliot wanted to delay the right hand flank as much as possible. And Steve wanted to do, delay the left-hand flank as much as possible. And I kind of felt that you guys were doing it the other way around. <laughs> Did you have that impression or was that just me? Well, the, the, well I definitely tried to delay the right-hand flank because there was so much unit strength there that I knew that two of my units could hold up a lot of his unit strength yeah. and could effectively just keep him in his in that one bottom quarter, sixth, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah... I suppose I would, my, I my list is down the left hand flank has nothing to do with anything then, Elliot. Yeah. Well, yeah, my my three units down the left <laughs> that all had perfectly lovely flank shards all lined up that mm. should have wiped out an entire army <laughs> and then <laughs> bounced, bounced, and all got wavered from one fireball. Fireball! <laughs> That's never been any good. God in hell, it sucks so like, yeah. bad. Fireball! <laughs> Man, I must, I must admit, we, we did we did start yeah, off feeling a bit sorry for Steve because every nerve check was every nerve check was one short of wavering, yeah. one short oh, of wavering, oh. and then all of a sudden, yeah, then it's, yeah, it, oh yeah, but there were one oh, short of wavering was, on like seven or eights, not like you was, needed a ten to waver. <laughs> or he was wavering and it was fury. It was either yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. He, was, he was wavering with an eleven. Yeah. Let's not forget this. He did two points of damage and wavered. <laughs> it's it's not like these things were on loads of damage. Elliot, let's <laughs> talk about dice. No. Now, let me explain, explain to you about averages, right? I've I watched many videos. and uh, so, But so my, my list, right, is a hammer and anvil list where the hammer isn't very good and the anvil also isn't very good. Yeah. So, <laughs> apparently, it's quite good. So um, actually, I, I wanted to get in in the middle far quicker. And the point of my list is to put crap units, they're all crap units, but the crapper units in the front so that you can only send the really scary hammers in one at a time because this river is really good for me because um, my units can cover it and only one of yours could. But then I mismeasured that, so that didn't happen. So <laughs> I, I didn't. what I would much rather have done on that turn is get the hat paws into the fiends, move the shock troops up and force more charges, right? But I, I couldn't, so I was really, on, I was very much on the back foot, and I was, like you say, I was only saved by dice. So it's my mistakes, but then my mistakes were fortunately saved by the fact that uh, you can't roll for shit. So <laughs> that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, thanks the, for that. um, I mean, the, the butchers of the front was hard, but only doing three damage from the gargoyles in the rear as well. Kind of that, but I didn't expect I didn't expect the gargoyles to do anything. To be honest, I I, Th I saw it, attacks I thought on fives should still do an, an okay yeah. amount. Um, <laughs> should be, I should be five rather than two ish on average. Plus yeah. or minus two, plus or minus four. You, Nick, you got up against an army that was entirely thirty attacks on fives. It should still do but okay. I, I had that in my head, but there's no vicious yeah. this time because 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 um, Twilight King gargoyles are shit because they don't have vicious. Which is yeah, just none, none of them do. Yeah. But they're not anymore. I know they used to. No, yeah, it's gone now. Yeah. So yeah. So so um, twice now I've beaten Elliot. The first time Elliot beat me yeah. because he told me how to play, and the second time <laughs> Elliot beat himself by dice. So both times I played Elliot, he'd beaten himself, which is just uh, <laughs> not really very fair, is it? Stop hitting yourself, Elliot. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> He's like that. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. I like the fact that Matt from. Uh... The King of Hertz has put uh, at least Ellie has managed to get some VP and kill points. Yeah, so, well, well it's not, not, not very many VP points. Uh, after he killed yeah, him, I got one. You've killed <laughs> you most of my army. To be fair. Yes. I've only got I've got very little left. I mean, on t on turn six, I had five, no four. <laughs> now I've got one. He could have gone. It could have been worse. Either way, to be honest, because the amount of hurt that. Gone on. No, I shouldn't. I should have just won. If I'd have never mind the tactical analysis, I would have won. 
I did nothing left. There's no tactical analysis there. I should have just won. <laughs> yeah, but like you say, you I literally didn't. just didn't need to roll one of those double ones, and I would have won. Yeah. The game. Well, to be honest, yeah, just one of those would have made the game a different game. But, but thirteen hundred just wonderful. my army. <laughs> you just need to plan better for more double ones yeah. in the future. That's true. Yeah. It's quite simple. Yeah, plan, plan for double ones and make sure everybody measures. I did. Which I did plan for double ones. And then, and then he wavered my uh, measurement on the hill. <laughs> plan for that as well. I had I had four things looking at it, and all of them got, got <laughs> the double one wavered or shut down in one go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, it was good to watch lots of those wavers happening. I'm sure that. Everybody's pretty knackered and all want to go and watch the Tom Tom game as yeah. well. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, we, no, we have no idea either. We well, I'm not anyway, right so here. I'm going to go and watch. Yeah, I'm going to go watch that. Right, well, <laughs> so, so <laughs> lovely comment. Very... Lovely, lovely comment to see us out. Thank you for all coming out and joining us. From Kings of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I mean>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just sorry, Al. <laughs> just to grind, just to grind it in there. Uh, his, yeah, his, yeah, his blog post is going to be one word. Oh, <laughs> just recycle yeah. the image you used for John. Better to be lucky than good, and just put my face yeah. on it and said like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. cheap meme. Right, yeah. okay, thank you. Thank you very much to uh, okay. Steve and Elliot for allowing us to look over the shoulder of what was a, a, a nerve nerve wrecking <laughs> game, to be honest. Um, and thanks, uh, thanks to Elliot Mike's slapping thanks Nick, to Jan. As well as Nick slapping yeah. <laughs> thanks to Jan, Nick, and Barry for the commentary and for making me not have to sit here on my own talking to myself. So, thank you very much. And thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Well, thanks for the game. Well, it's been a good fun. See you for the next one. Bye. See you later. Bye.